This is part 13 of payroll management software. Today we'll create employee salary report screen. Uh, in that report screen, we'll display employee salary per annum salary we are displaying in that report. Okay. First, we'll create a uh, Windows form under this report report form folder. Add a uh, Windows form. Here form a salary report. Click this add now. First, I want to change this text here. Uh, here, I want to add crystal report viewer. I don't need this group tree. So click this small icon, change this group tree to none. Okay, now uh, we'll call this form um, in main form. Go to form main here under reports. Here employee salary. Okay, double click this one. Here I'm going to copy these codes and pasting here form salary report okay now it will work now we have to create reports under reports folder add new item here under reporting select crystal reports A report name employee salary click add you yeah, select as a blank report click ok first um, in that report header first we'll create header for this report before that uh, we can change the page setup right click design page setup here by default letter is selected change this to a4 then click ok now right click in header section insert text field Yeah, employee salary report. F right click format object. Yeah, go to font tab. Yeah, change this uh, style bold and font style will be 12. Then click OK. Okay. Now we'll create header for this um, report. Before that, uh, we have to see what are the columns inside this employee salary. We have employee ID, join date, and the salary per annum. So here, uh, employee ID, employee name, we have to display from employee table and join date salary. So we need four headers. Okay, right, just right click, insert text field your yeah, first column serial number edit text object employee id okay expand this Then we need employee name. Then date of birth. Finally, we need salary per annum. Salary per annum. Okay. Okay, um, select all the header and right click format multiple objects 
here go to font tab here change this style font and size will be 11 then click ok okay now in detail section we have to display the data from this uh, SQL table so for that here right click database field database export here already we have connected um, project data uh, in data set we added only user table only so we have to add so cancel this one go to data set here go to server explorer here expand this mini payroll database expand tables inside this now we need employee salary just drag this table and employee okay save this go to employee salary report now field explorer right click database export here so right click this project data refresh now expand this edu.net data sets now we have employee and employee salary tables uh, select click this button okay then select employee salary click this button then click on ok yeah uh, we have to link the table based on our uh, employee id we are uh, linking the two tables okay click ok now first we have to display the serial number that's not belong to this data tables okay right click insert uh, special field here we have record number we don't need this field heading just remove it by default uh, it's in right alignment um, format object change this number style and then common here by alignment uh, this default position change this to left or centered whatever you want click ok then employee id from employee salary table then uh, change uh, alignment this employee id format object positive number then common tab change this to left alignment click ok then employee name from employee um, table okay <clears throat> then we have to display sorry this one is data but not data but join date okay join date okay we have to display join date from this employee salary table so we have to change this format format object by default system default short format is there now i want to display in this format so click this customize button go to date tab here uh, by default month day and then year will display i want to change this day month and year click ok then click on this ok now salary per annum so drag this here by default it's in right alignment ok if you want you can keep it as it is ok change this to positive or uh, float numbers click ok now um, save this click this main report preview our report looks like this okay now i want to um, add lines um, for that go to toolbox here line object so draw line
okay uh, click this main report preview now our report looks like this okay uh, save this okay now uh, right click uh, here uh, click fit section right click uh, this uh, page header fit section detail section fit section okay here okay save this now our report file is ready now we have to write code for this employee salary report okay now in user report so i just want to copy this report document script um, object so i will paste it here uh, we have to add namespace for this report document crystal reports dot engine Yeah, um, I just want to copy these lines for generating report in load event. I am pasting that here. I want to change the code here. Our uh, report file name is EMP salary. That's in projects reports folder. Okay. Now, um, again, we are calling the connection function and here we are creating data set object DST. Yeah, select star from your table name will be employee in here we have to specify the table name here we are using two tables so for that i am copying this select employee second table name is emp salary When you are using a um, data table object, it contains a row uh, with row and columns, but a data set contains um, multiple tables. So that's why we are using data set here. Uh, we are using two tables and we are assigning that set data source will be DST. That's data set object. And finally, crystal report viewer dot report source will be this script object report document object. OK, now it will work. OK save this and uh, start the application click login reports your employee salary report now um, the report is generated serial number employee id employee name and then join date salary per annum Okay, here we can add one small uh, printed date. Okay, that's only enough for this report. Okay, stop the execution. Here, open this employee salary report. Here, insert um, text object. Print out date. Okay, now right click insert special field insert print date. Okay, change this format. Um, I want this format and go to customize day, month, year. Select this option, click OK. Okay, now it's ready start the application reports employee salary report now we have printed date here okay okay guys uh, see you there in next video thanks for listening this